Let us start with the demo of Beam's capabilities. Beam is a multi-cloud cost governance tool and we support AWS and Azure Public Cloud as well as Nutanix Private Cloud. Beam also allows customers to create financial entities like business unit and cost centers and custom groups we call scopes for spend visibility. Beam helps deliver spend visibility through its dashboard and analyze features, financial governance through chargeback and budgeting, and cost optimization through save and purchase. The configuration section allows detailed customization. Beam's dashboard is the single pane of view for our customers across their multiple cloud deployments. We provide a consolidated analysis of their services and cloud spend breakdown, spend month on month trends, the savings potential from existing cloud deployments, and overall cost efficiency of our customer investments. Beam's Analyze section allows our customers to drill down into their cloud spends and slice and dice all the cloud data customers can analyze each cloud in detail across accounts, services, purchase options, and other different attributes. They can analyze data historically across days and past months or quarters. Beam not only provides spend analytics on past data, but uses its inbuilt algorithms to project and forecast future spend patterns for our customers. This projection is available for our next few months across accounts or services. One of Beam's unique features is its costing model for Nutanix Private Cloud. Beam integrates with customers on-prem deployments and helps build out the total cost of ownership of its clusters that factors in facilities, hardware, telecom, people, services, and software costs. This DCO is available for each cluster and the product allows for configuration at the cluster level, we can then drill down to each cluster to see resource costing. Beam has built special algorithms for allocating the cluster costs to individual resources running on the cluster. We have multiple VM costing models that can be configured by the customers as per the model used. The hourly cost of VMs running on the cloud is calculated and reported. Beam enables comprehensive financial control through its budgeting feature. Users can set up a budget for entity like business unit, cost center, or a scope. In this case, we select a cost center and then we auto-create a budget based on past data. We can also set up a manual budget and set up alerts as required. Once the budget is set up, we're able to do variance analysis against plan and review top drivers. Beam's chargeback feature allows users to map cloud resources to their business units or cost centers. The cost center mapping is a multi-cloud feature where customers' departmental cloud consumption can be mapped across multiple cloud resources using cloud accounts and tags. Beam also tracks all resources not mapped in the cost centers and enables easy configuration of missed resources to its business entities. Beam provides cost saving opportunities of 10 to 15 percent of monthly cloud spend by identifying unused resources and underutilized resources. The eliminate section focuses on resources that have been provisioned but not being used at all by the customer. Beam tracks multiple IS and PaaS resources for such a scenario and also provides one-click automation to delete the resources to save money. In the optimize section, within save, Beam tracks multiple resource types for underutilization, including EC2, RDS, and other resources. For EC2 machines, Beam not only identifies optimization opportunities, but provides a how-to guide for right sizing, and also shows detailed analysis to back up the recommendation. We can also trigger ServiceNow request to act on this recommendation. Beam offers additional saving opportunities through RI planning in purchase section and provides new RI recommendations to get deep discounts over on-demand instances. We undertake detailed analysis at an instance family level and we tracked consumption and make new RI purchase recommendations. With this, we come to the end of our demo.